Coming at you live from Glasgow, Scotland, this is a Nate Doggy Dog 52 production. Hi, I'm Nate Doggy Dog 52, welcome to the channel. What I have right here is my first pickup of the remaster of the Jordan series for 2015. Um, it comes in the traditional Jordan 4 box, black lead with the grey and black cement bottom. You've got the red jump on top with a white flight below. Uh, I'll let you guys see the tag. And what we have right here is the Air Jordan Retro 4 uh, LS or Lifestyle White Legend Blue Midnight Navy is the official colorway uh, 314254 and the colour code is 107 As always US 13 UK 12 is the sizing on these Receipt from Nike.com as always Give you a quick look at the sneakers also Just pull the sneakers out and we're going to get started on this review Okay, so this was my first pickup of the remastered series from a uh, Jordan brand for 2015. Having said that, I was so pleasantly surprised with the with these sneakers and um, even the presentation to the way that they come with um, the little parts inside to kind of keep the shape um, and having the laces tied and things like that. I really am a big fan of that. Um, let me grab one shoe and we'll get started. Okay, so Jordan 4 originally released in 1989. It was, I think, a Hatfield shoe. It was the second Jordan that he would do um, for the Jordan brand. Um, he was looking to build on what had been previously the Jordan 3. So you had still had the Jordan, uh, the Jumpman on the tongue and also on the heel, keeping it consistent with the 3. You also had that visible air, keeping it again consistent with the 3. He looked to make some, uh, I think, a Hatfield looked to make some up upgrades um, and he did that in the case of essentially cut out parts which were on the, the lateral medial mid panels here. So in order to cut weight on the previous model Tinker Hatfield used over molded mesh uh, in both the lateral and medial mid panels um, although leather on this model that is what he used on the original um, Jordan 4's. Um, that, what this was was basically mesh that was dipped in plastic and then hardened um, and it meant that the shoe still looked premium but um, it was still able to perform as well. A lot of these sneakers also came with Durabuck or Newbuck on them. The reason for that was it was pretty tough wearing it didn't um, tend to give as much um, as well. They did release in the fall of 1989. Um, while wearing the shoe, Michael made it to his fifth All-Star game and won his third consecutive scoring title as well. Um, so yeah, a really, really incredible shoe. One of the most popular in terms of Jordan collectors, that's for sure. Personally, I think I've now got around 11 pairs, if not more. Um, but yeah, very, very popular sneaker. Um, so real quick, we'll look at the bottom. Um, so something I'd like to add on these was the flex grooves that you find here. Um, and that was just to aid the transition on them. Um, if you're curious as well as to why these are called the Jordan 4 Retro LS, when they, original when they originally launched the Oreo and this colorway, which was the Columbia, um, they called them the Retro Plus. So they, they retroed them in 1999. And what they did was they essentially took um, the performance aspect away and did it as a retro sneaker and um, where they were putting leather on it so it was more of a premium option on the performance option that had been 10 years previously. Um, they've now switched that name up for 2015 as I said it's now called LS which is short for lifestyle and um, there is a slight price increase in these as well however because it's a remastered shoe I genuinely couldn't be happier than having these. Um, so one of the main differences that you find between a regular Jordan 4 and the uh, LS or Lifestyle is it has an embroidered Jumpman on the tongue opposed to the normal patch with a flight similar to what's on the box lid. Um, another thing is obviously you don't have the mesh on the, the mesh, that, that over molded mesh that I was talking about. Um, you don't have that in both the lateral and medial panels. Um, but what you did have is Tinker Hatfield was already thinking ahead and he was thinking how can I give people a better uh, customised fit. So he added these wings in the shoe which was to give lateral stability at the time and to really lock Michael into the shoe. And he essentially gave you 18 options, he gave you 9 holes on each wing, um, meaning that you could get an entirely customised fit um, based on what you'd like. Um, you also have the 9 holes on here as well, so again it gives you that real customisation. If you have a wide foot you can lace it a little bit wider um, and so on. 
But yeah. They changed the colour up on these as well in order to differentiate them from the 99 model. Um, although when they were dropped in 99 because they were on LS, you still had the, the Jumpman on the LS models, but on the retro models of the performance ones, they still had Nike Air on them and they were beginning to branch out into that Jordan brand. Um, so they're really looking to make the Jumpman prominent as it was in the 3. Um, continuing that with the 4 where it's on the front and also on the heel. Um, and Jumpman Bostick, if you want to check out his channel, he's a great friend of mine. Um, he does a great comparison of the Retro Plus or the 99 version and the LS which is the 2015 version. So check out his channel for that comparison. Um, Something else that is really really cool in here, I'm not sure how well it's going to be picked up, is the actual blue on the midsole uh, and also on the wings is like a, almost like an iridescent blue where it has like almost uh, flakes through it that give it a real shine, a very very nice uh, material and very very premium looking. Um, I'm really really impressed with the leather as well, it's very very soft tumbled leather and having seen people wearing these, I've obviously not worn mine yet, Total DS. I haven't seen people wearing them, they do wear very well, they don't crease like crazy, they, they look really really good on feet as well. Um, something that I forgot to say is, um, again keeping it consistent with the Jordan 3 is you get this the hang tag, uh, so it's got the Jumpman and then Air below it, um, so that's something that I really like about 3's and 4's, um, the 3 was the first one to do that um, with this sort of a large keychain on it, so yeah, it's really really cool. Uh, but without further ado I'm going to pop these on feet and let you guys see how they look. Hey guys, so this is the Jordan 4 Retro Legend Blue of Columbia's on feet. Again, I've tied the left shoe and I've tucked the lace in the right shoe. The right shoe is more likely how I would wear it personally. Give you a little look at the side. And back as well. On the other side. Anyone who's familiar with the channel setup knows that it's now time for me to grab my phone, jump straight into my shout outs. If you would like to be added to the shout out list, then just drop a comment below requesting to be added and it can be done. It's not a problem whatsoever. So first up, it's the reason that I do these videos. It's the main man, Ike Bezos. Shout out to him. Um, Jumpman Bostick is the next on the list. He's the sneaker brother from over there in Detroit. Again, always showing love. Uh, Hess Kicks up there in Oregon, um, shout outs to you. Uh, Nightwing2303, always supporting, always retweeting, always uh, checking out my vids, so I appreciate the support. Uh, the next person would be Kick Genius, uh, these two guys that do fantastic reviews, uh, particularly in performance reviews. Um, you've got Zaya X, that Sugar OK, just for Kicks212, all of those guys are from the Florida area. I've got the Real Ray 20, uh, Street Gear NYC, the store in New York, uh, Nice Kicks, the store down in Austin, Texas, Sneaker Watch TV. Uh, Scoop208, Mr. Former Simpson, uh, again shout out to him as always. Yo Ante and Yo Ante Kicks, uh, the homemade from over there in Boston, T Blake. Uh, Jacob J. Keller on Always Fresh Apparel. Jacques Slade, uh, Bullet RC, We Are The Trend, Ski TV, KicksandFire.com, KicksInTheCity.com, Suicidal One, Swag On Haters Out, Sam Colt 12, TL Rex 72, Guns and Gloves, One Veracity. Optimus P517, Sticky213, Blue Cheese, My Kicks Fly, Eddie Wynn, the homie Jason Mark, the homie for life from over there in St. Louis, so Eddie C, and the homie from Atlanta, Rich's Kicks. Uh, that concludes my shout out list. Again, if you'd like to keep up to date with me more um, on a day to day basis, then I do have an Instagram and Twitter. If you'd like to follow me, it's at NathanKerr20, it'll appear right here as I'm talking. Also, when you're posting your pictures on Instagram and on Twitter, don't forget to use the hashtags, hashtag SneakerFanWorldwide, hashtag NDD52 for me, NateDoggyDog52, and I'm helping out the homie on his hashtag on hashtag TBlake. Okay guys, I'm going to give you one final look at the Air Jordan 4 Retro Columbia, or Legend Blue, of the 2015 Remastered series. Something that I forgot to touch on, I've just remembered now, is that the biggest difference between the, the remastered series and something that we're really looking to implement is that they wanted you to be able to see the Jumpman's fingers. So if you look on his off hand, not his ball hand, you can actually see the fingers. Uh, and you can also see that on the back as well, in the heel, just there. Um, so that's something I wanted to point out before I go here. If you have enjoyed this video, then please do like, comment and subscribe to the channel. 
Um, any feedback would be great, so drop a comment down below. Um, be sure to check out my back catalogue, I've got a whole bunch of fours on there, including um, the Cavs fours that were commemorating that shot um, from the uh, first round of the playoffs where Jordan basically hung in mid-air somehow, I don't know how. Um, but check that out again, it's on the Air Jordan Reviews uh, playlist also. Thanks for checking out the vid. Until the next, I'll be Nate Doggy Dog 52. This is the Jordan 4 Retro LS Legend Blue or Columbia's. Peace.